So guys, I am back with another Power World video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you the best way to start Power World. Now, I've had early access for over a week. I know there's many, many new players going to be picking up this game on PC and both Xbox. And today guys, I'm just going to guide you through what you should do as a new player, tips and tricks to help you farm, grind, build, earn XP, level up. And we're going to do this live. I'm going to do it a live playthrough uh, as we record. So yes, let's go. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, guys, it's important to note that I am playing on normal settings. I haven't changed my settings whatsoever. My my game settings are just normal. I haven't increased anything in regards to XP, uh, farming materials and things of that nature. So you'll see this as it should be. Uh, also guys, by the way, uh, go ahead and create your character. Once you've done that, you'll end up right here. This is the initial spot where you will spawn into this game. So from here, guys, this is what I suggest you do. Normally, you'd run forward and you'd pick up and do those two tools. You can see top right. That we don't want to do. What we want to do, guys, is go and get ourselves a great little pal, a companion, which will help us in the early stages of doing all those tutorials and make life a lot easier. So you want to come back on yourself. And right here, guys, we're just going to grab a few chests because we're looking for those spheres. There we got three of the bad boys straight off the bat. Now, you can continue on and come down here. Or you can go back up and you want to look for a pal called the Cat Teaver. This is a pink little dude, uh, but he is the ultimate starting base pal. And I'll explain more as we run through this. I thought there was a chest there in that corner then. No, it ain't. So we're just going to come down here. I'm just going to jump down here. There's a few more chests that you do want to grab. Um, as well as a couple of eggs you can grab. You can come back for the eggs. It doesn't really matter. Because uh, within the early days, the early stages, you ain't going to be incubating any eggs. Because you need to get to a certain level to get that egg incubated. So I've got there a mega sphere and a normal sphere. Now the mega uh, sphere I'd probably keep for a, a hard to tame uh, pal. So I definitely don't want to be uh, on that. You can accidentally throw it and lose it. I've done that multiple times. So these are the ones you want. These are Cativas. These are amazing. So what we're just going to simply do, guys, is just get down to a low health. And then try and catch him. So get him down to as low health as you can. One more punch, maybe. Actually, you know what? Forget that. So now, guys, we're going to lock onto him. And <laughs> stop hitting me, man, you little bastard. And try and catch him. There we go. We caught him simple as that so now guys we have our very own little companion uh again we can catch another one if you want to it's probably smart to do this come back here little shit because if we're having two of them we can use one as our base power which i'll explain and we can use one as a companion to help us fight and level up which is cool okay so i'm not gonna summon my power i'm just gonna try and catch this dude there we go now we got two now what you can do guys is you can continue on down here and you can grab a few more things now there's an egg up there which you can get if you want i'll come back for that at a later time though there's a chest around here grab this chest got some arrows and more gold gold is this game's currency which you'll use at traveling vendors and certain npcs across the board uh so yeah i'm just gonna come down this way guys now there's an egg up there as well around that corner but there's an effigy, which is quite important, which you do want to get. A very important, actually. The effigy is around here. So you just want to jump over here. And we're just going to come down this way. And it's going to be right there. So you want to grab that. So that is something you'll use, which will help you in regards to um, capturing pals. It's basically, you can use those at a uh, thing you can purchase which are level six uh, you can get the blueprint for something called the the statue of power you can see that right there on my screen um and you can use that guys to upgrade your catching skills in regards to taming these powers so now guys we're going to push on with the tutorials now in the early stages guys you want to pick up all these stones you want to pick up any bits of wood you see anything shining and glimmering on the floor you definitely want to pick up 
There's not too much ways about that. Grab all this juicy loot. Grab it all. Chicken over there. Do my head in with that sound. So this is how you want to start the game. And you'll understand why in a quick second. Because if you just progress on to do the tutorials. Um, I mean, it, it, it takes quite a while. When it comes to crafting and that, you need all the help you can get. Hello. I'm not fighting you. Get out of my way because you will just one tap me. Uh, yeah, so when you're doing all the tutorials, you need a helping hand. And these little cativas right here are the perfect starter pal. There's no two which ways about it. And I'll explain more as we go on in regards to powers and what they offer and what you want to look for. Just yeah. climb up there just like so. And we're just going to come back. I have got an upgrade. And I tell which, in my opinion, the best stats to level into right off the bat. Like my character, by the way. He's called the Incredible Bulk. <laughs> the Incredible Bulk. I'll also show you guys, uh, showcase you guys as well, in my opinion, the best place to start your first base is without that the best place. 100% people, 100%. Okay, so we're just going to come up here now. And run up here. It's quite a trek, but hey, it is what it is. There's actually loads of chests around this entire area, which I have got a complete run. Uh, there's probably about 10, 15 chests. There's eggs, there's materials, there's this, that, and the other. That run will be on my channel. So this is where you first start. Now we're just going to come to this thing right here. Activate the fast travel point. Get ourselves a technology point too. Speak to this vendor. Uh, he gives you wood as well. So you just want to grab all of that. Did he give it me? Yeah, he gave me the same wood. There we go. Wood there, pick it up. Now this guy's here, this area right here is the perfect spot for your base. It really is, especially your first base. Because what we have is, we have loads of bushes, which you can farm. We have loads of trees, which you can also farm. We also have, guys, rocks, which you can farm. And the best thing about this whole area is people. Once you set up, once you put down, so to create a base on this game, let me spend my points uh, here. In regards to spending your points, I'd probably start off with weight, work speed and stamina. Uh, but definitely work speed because when it comes to crafting things early on, it just takes an age. I guess you'll get the help from your pal, your captiva. He kind of like splits the time in half, but even still, it's quite a trek. But weight as well is... Um, a great one to use because again you're going to be picking up loads of things and crafting loads of things and this that, and the other so yeah so you can see on the screen guys go into your menu uh go to the spot with check the survival guide you can do all that there we go click on that yeah 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 beautiful great there we go uh, now guys we need to build a workbench so do that so press up on your d-pad if you're playing on console you need wood to do this and you want to put this you can actually you can move this put it somewhere else if you want to it doesn't really matter um but it's only two bits of wood so it's going to do this and you'll see guys that it takes well it's not too bad to craft these but you'll see other things it takes a while so now you want to open the technology screen menu and unlock the power sphere now which is this right here guys uh you also want to get the power box power sphere um i'd suggest as well you get in the wooden uh, chest to store things campfires used to cook in fact the, all these lines are great and things i would highly recommend you grab in uh, the wooden structure you need to put down a bed on top of this uh, the power structures these the power beds you can put them on the floor anywhere but you do want these in your base so i'm just gonna get these while i can i'll level up sooner or later anyway so i want to get the, the old bow and arrow too these are very important these you don't really need for now i mean once you get a couple more levels though you definitely want to invest in cloth because you need cloth to create this um you also want the shield too this is mightily uh, important the difference this makes is unbelievable early game so uh i've got a couple of points but you know i'll just get the it doesn't really matter we'll wait so now guys we need to craft those spheres uh throw pals to weaken attack pals so to weaken them then press rb to capture them now it's telling you to craft uh spheres because it thinks you don't have any where actually guys we have quite a well we have five in total We've got four of this one and a couple of the others so yeah so what i do now guys is i build 
your power box. Now the power box requires the Palladium Fragments, which you would probably have to get from rocks. But again, run that uh, path that I just showed you, so you'll come across these. Wooden stone, simple. So you want to build these. Now, keep in mind, where you put this is a mightily important because what this does is the surrounding area of where you put this becomes your base's vicinity. So if I was to slot this, say, here, my base would probably go over this edge down there and probably wouldn't cover all of these bushes, which is actually what we want it to do. So I'd put it in line, so I'd make sure it covers the bushes. So we're just going to do this. Uh, we need the trees, the rocks, the bushes all in favor of it. So I'm just going to put it about there. There we go. Now you'll see guys, we have to craft this thing. So now we craft. Here we go. Good, nice. Now my crafting ability is uh, a little faster as you've seen. I've uh, updated that. Got 150 work speed now, which is mightily important. This is what we love. Now guys, we have our power box. Now our power box is our own, our very own fast travel point. You can see our missions, which we have, which we do these, we can level this up, which once you get your base level to a 10, you can build multiple bases, by the way. Um, so our power box, basically, as you can see right here at the bottom of the screen, this is why I suggest you tame two of these, because we can put one of these as our base pal. This guy will now do multiple things. You can see now he's gonna go and farm those rocks. He will farm bushes. He will, if you farm these trees, he will pick up things you drop. Uh, it's just a great little thing. He'll also help you craft things too, which is a very, a very important people. Um, so what do we do next? Now it's telling us to craft spheres uh, and attack power. So we can do this if you want to. Uh, so we'll just try it, we'll just do it, just to, just to get those, that XP. So we'll craft a couple of these and you'll see there we go. Now you can see guys is running over to help us. Now if I was to leave this, he would finish it off. So for instance, if I was to say, no, I don't want to do that. Go over there. Uh, so if I was to select a recipe and I was to pick uh, uh, arrows and I can craft, say, three of these, I can start this, I can start the work and this dude will come over and do them for me. So I can go about my own business and I'll come back and he'll do this for me. So that's mightily important. Now what I also suggest you doing straight away guys is, let me just grab mm. them, get out of the way, get over there. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna cancel that. I oh, know I'm not, cause he's gonna keep doing it. Will you stop it? Will you get over there you little shit? Stop it, get over there. Get over there. There we go. So now from here guys, you do want, I'd say a handheld torch is mightily important, but you do want a stone pickaxe and you also want a stone axe. Now I'd probably be able to craft these if we wouldn't have made these arrows, but it's all good. You can get these materials quite quickly. The wood comes from trees as well as the stones, which your little dude will be getting for you. So there'll be loads of these here already. And he will non-stop guys, farm these for you. And if you create a, a little uh, container box, he will also put them in a container for you, which is pretty cool, people. So it's quite slow when it comes to you fighting these trees and earning that, getting that wood. I don't know how much I needed, to be honest. Okay, so I can craft these, which is cool. So I'm just going to craft that. Hold to work. There we go, and he comes and helps us. Good lad. I wish you'd get out of my way, though. Stop me progressing. <laughs> Um, and we also want a pickaxe too. So we're just going to craft one of these also. There we go. Cool indeed. So we've got them. Now guys, I would probably suggest you guys uh, using this handheld torch because at night it gets cold. This thing will keep you warm. It also means you can see at night. So it's mightily important. So yeah, keep that in mind. You can see it. Things do get a little slower. Uh, as those levels go up, it's kind of crazy, but hey, with this little dude here, he does help you, which is why we always tame him first. Um, so we do want a bowl too, so we need stone, wood and fibre. But now I have a pickaxe and an axe, I can get stone and fibre and wood quite easily. The fibre and wood comes from trees, obviously. So I can just bash away. You see there, getting fibre and wood. Just like so, just like so, just like so. Now, another trick I will show you guys as well, not many people know about this, which is weird, but if I was to say, let's say, you can 
see also guys he's farming for me those beautiful fragments so if i was to pick this dude up and i believe it will work it definitely works when you're crafting things so i have to throw him at these bushes he should should really pick them for me where's he going now where is he running to where are you going fella no he's going to that stone he's going to that stone <laughs> Either way, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I'll grab them. I'll grab them. He's got, he's, he's, I think I can actually change what I want him to do. I can't really remember. He's late here in the UK when I'm recording this. I'm absolutely cream crackered. I'm not going to lie. So from here, guys, uh, what do I need? I need one more wood and uh, I think that was seven more fiber. So that's what we're going to do. In fact, what I will do is, guys, I will craft a box because we need that storage just in case you know so i'm just gonna put this here can i not put it there okay i'll put it on this side here then there we go i'm just gonna build this box now i don't know what it's doing oh it's coming over to help me but it's gonna be too late it's gonna be too late and you can store things in this and again he will store things in that box for you so I'll keep in mind now I, actually i'll explain in a quick second about powers and uh how to know what they're capable of because uh, obviously certain powers in this game will all do different things. I was picking berries now for me, look. So yeah, p certain powers in this game, as stupid as they look, as useless as they may look, they all offer and have individual traits which will help you in regards to your base. Uh, it gets quite deep, the system here is quite deep. But um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And it just adds to the game, adds to the structure, adds to the foundations of what this game is all about. It isn't just about running around and farming and taming powers and fighting them. There's a massive building. So I just, where is he going? Now you can see the outline of my base, the blue outline. This is where my base is. Oh, it's gathering stones for me. Good lad. You can see it's pretty big. The area is pretty big, so it covers quite a lot. But this is all now classed as my base. Okay, so now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to craft this bow. Just like so. Just like so, people. Mm. And then what? Okay. Get out of my way, will ya? <laughs> and now, guys, we want to make as many of these as we can. So I, can, I can't make massive amounts at the minute. Um, but we can still make a few. That sheep in the background there is doing my absolute head in. I don't know why it's telling me to. I want to help him craft. It won't. There we go. I can say so we can get him, get him done a lot quicker. Now, in regards to earning XP to level up quicker, guys, there's actually a simple method in doing so. Um, and it is just taming powers. Taming powers in this game, as long as they're, well, to make it more efficient on yourself, as long as they're on par of your level, maybe a level above. Uh, but either or, guys, up to 10 of each will earn you mass amounts of uh, of xp like unbelievable amounts of xp now, i've got another level here i'm gonna put this in stamina now yeah uh, so we're good there just like so i'm just gonna store and um, what i don't need on me which is just gonna weigh me down i'm just gonna store that i'm gonna store actually i'll keep a few uh bits of food on me i'm just gonna store that and a small power sword this is used to upgrade powers which i'll talk about in a quick second too got 35 arrows on me um, I should probably craft a few more, which is actually what I'm going to do, guys. So what I do is, I don't want to make this video going on for like six hours. I'm just going to farm a few more stones. Actually, I've got quite a few wood already, so I can actually just use this dude. Give me this stone. In fact, I'll help you bash this down and get more. My pal seems to be hungry. That's cool. Also, you can see down the right-hand side of your screen. Pay attention to the red text there. Uh... It will mean that a lot of the time when pals do get stressed or certain things happen, you want to swap them in and out with your power box uh, for other pals that will do the same job. So in regards to what I mean there is, I can take this dude here now and put him in here and he will now rest and recover. And then I can just say, let's say I'll put him there to fight for me. I can put this one here to be my uh, base pal. Now, as you upgrade your base, you can have upwards of like 10 dudes working for you when you capture powers they're uh, first they're going to uh, fill your party slots which you can use them in battle 
But the, then, once you catch them out in the wild, they'll go straight to your, uh, your power box. Now, I can throw out my power that I have here, by the way, people. So, just select him. He will also help farm. So, yeah, two of these is handy. But again, this is my actual companion who will go out into the open world with me, who help me fight and things like that. So now, guys, I'm going to show you how to level up fast. Just so you can... Uh, like unlock for certain things much much quicker so i'm just gonna actually you know what i'm just gonna oh he's come to help me okay he come to help me yes he is so i don't want to look at you there we go we're just gonna work work and make those arrows people i'm also guys gonna create this dude a bed as well because as you can see like i said pay attention to the red text top right um they need a bed they need to rest once they work a lot they need to rest and eat so yeah a food box is very important too so as soon as you can craft one of these guys you do want to do that in fact can i do one right now i should be able to make a bed no i need a uh, wood so i'm just gonna go get some wood uh, there we go let's get some wood stone there too like i'm saying these guys will just constantly farm so you'll come back and i'll be stone absolutely everywhere for you absolutely everywhere for you i'm just going to pick these up now i'm just going to grab this one right here too and because these all these materials will constantly respawn over and over people you can just have like an infinite amount of supplies now i'm just going to put this anywhere it don't really matter you can be a lot neater than i am it doesn't really bother me okay so he's going to build that for me and i'm just going to feed myself because i am starving hungry so I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to feed him too. Now, can I make a food box this early on? Did I actually... Um, no, I haven't unlocked it yet. So I'm just going to try and do that. There we go. There's, I can actually get the shield too. This is unbelievable in regards to survivability early on. But I ain't going to need it. But actually, you know what? I'll unlock it anyway. The food box is very important too. And I'm just going to grab this cloth armor also. So the food box is right there. Can I craft it? I can't craft it. I need more wood, which is cool. We go get more wood. Just like so. And you can see, guys, right next to my health and food box at the bottom, it's getting pretty cold. Now, in this area, you should be okay with no clothes on. But when you go out into the open world, you'll become freezing. And you don't want that. And that's why and where the torch comes in very handy early on. That's why I said just to create it. I'm not sure how much wood I needed, but so you can see right now, guys, all of a sudden now night time is actually, I am freezing. So this definitely needs to come out just so I don't die. Okay, so now we create the food box for our little dude who's taking a nap. So I'm just going to put this right next to his bed. I'm just going to build this just like so. Open it up and you can put in, let's say, half of these if you want to. Take half, store them in there just for him. Uh, but yeah, he's quite good at getting his own food too, so yeah, keep that in mind. Now, I've got wood on me, which is just going to weigh me down, which actually, you know what? I'm just going to craft these uh, remaining arrows. And then, guys, what I'll do then is, because it's night time, I don't really want to go out at night and get clapped up, slapped up. I will create myself a foundation and a bed, but you do need to enclose it before you can sleep. This is something you don't have to do early, uh, straight away, uh, but yeah, you might as well get it out of the way while you're here. So how many arrows I've actually got on me now? I think I get three per one of these I do. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go. So you know what? I'm just going to acquire them and cancel that. And I'm just going to kind of make a foundation here. See this here, I can craft it, but I need wool. You get wool from little uh, pals like and this dude right there. This guy will drop you that wall. So I'm just going to take him out. Did he drop me any? Yes, he dropped me one. That's enough for me. That is enough for me. Okay, so we also, guys, need to create our foundation. So we need to do this. So I'm just going to make a quick little one by one out of the way here because I don't want it getting in the way of my powers. And that can happen, by the way. Uh, walls. I'm going to need three of these for sure. So I've got plenty of wood to do this, so I'm just going to build continuously. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. 
Now I'm just going to get this door out of the way and put that right there. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> so I'll go inside here, guys. Now you're going to need a roof for sure. So I'm just going to... That sound of that sheep does my absolute nothing. <laughs> okay, so now we have a roof. I'm so used to playing R and pressing A. Okay, so now, guys, we're just going to put our bed down. So I have to craft it first. So I'm just going to craft this bad boy. Uh, let me just actually open this door and get out of here because I'm... I don't think I can pull it down while I'm standing inside of there, which is just weird, but hey, there we go. So I'm just going to build that and then craft it just like so. And just like so. So now if I wouldn't have put my first point into my crafting speed or my work speed, this probably would take probably like 30 or 40% longer to do. So now I'm just going to sleep and get it back to daylight just to make things easier. <laughs> Just make things easier for the video purposes. Okay, so now you're telling me I can't get out of there. Are you telling me I've put this bed <laughs> I've put this bed down the wrong way around? Oh my life, I'm an idiot. Oh shit, I've just slept again. Get off the bed. Get off the bed. <laughs> so to dismantle things, guys, I mean this isn't really clearly explained as well. So uh, to dismantle things, you come to this menu and press dismantle mode and then just look at your bed and simply dismantle. Simple as that. So, yeah, I'll build it. Can I build it again? I've got the materials just I have. So this time, I'm going to rotate it so I can actually get in and out. Okay, so I'm just going to place it against the wall there. Is it not letting me do it while I stand inside? Okay, there we have it. So I'm just going to... Oh, shit, I keep jumping. Why am I pressing A? So I'll just do that. And he will eventually just run in there and build it for me, so I ain't got to worry about that. So now, guys, it says there, right on your screen, increase your player level by capturing 30 pals, capture five of the land bells, uh, attack pals, you weaken them, and then capture them. How many spheres have I got? I've only got six. How many can I make? I can make six, well, not, probably not six more, but a few more. So I'm just going to make these just to get this out of the way. These are actually quite quick to make as well, so did I only make one there? What was going on then? Oh, shit, I didn't press max. There we go. So I can make four in total. So there we go. There we go, people. Uh, so I'm going to grab these. And I'm going to actually... I have got, I got no wood on me. Uh, but for now, I'll show you what I mean, guys. Now we're just going to go out and capture. We're going to go out and capture all you can see. And I'll explain how and why this level is up so fast. So you can bring out your little dude to help you out. And then just take him down. Now what I will say is, people... That can happen. You need to be careful of that. Uh, in regards to the XP or earn, I want to get plus level for plus eleven for killing them. Uh, but if you tame them, it goes into the hundreds. So once your power's out and it's helping you, you definitely want to pull him back before the power dies. I mean, you can if you're quick. You can press your right thumbstick in and command them to stop. But to do it quicker, it's easier just to simply just pull them away. That's because, especially when these are level one as well. It's just a uh, so much easier for them to die. So there we have guys. You can see then I've got 34. I've got 34 for capturing that. And you'll see the more you capture, the more that goes up. So we just want to capture more or less everything. And with your bow, it's quite easy to do so. So there we go. I got 50, 38 uh, XP there. And I also got 15 for my pal. And that's the best thing about this as well, guys, is the more of the same one you catch up to, up to a 10, the more XP you will earn, which is cool. Please don't jump out of that. Please don't jump out of that. There we go. So that's 40. You can see the XP just increases. Oh! See, my little cat was trying to kick his ass then. Trying to kick his ass. Okay, so there we go. You can see everything is leveling up fast. So, I'm just going to get this dude too. Just like so. Just like so. Oh, is he dead? I didn't think he was dead. Shit. Okay, so we're just going to go and grab this effigy too. In fact, what are you doing down there in that water? Come here. Come here. Don't you dare get out of there. 100% nice. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. 
So you can see, you level up super fast by doing this. And early stages, guys, this is one of the best ways. In fact, it is the best way to level up. Now you can just simply farm things, like picking things up off the floor. This will earn you XP too. You see there, you get plus one. It's nothing major, but if you get to an area where there's plenty of things to do so, um, you can earn quite a lot of XP in doing this. But yeah, we're just gonna grab, grab, and grab away. So you can see right there on the side of your screen, tutorials, increase your player level by capturing 30, X, uh, 30 thing tames. Your XP will even go up further after this too, which is madness. Absolute madness, so we caught you too. Nice. 47. These dudes come to papa. Come to. Oh shit, I just killed him. Just killed him. Where you going, boy? Where you going? Get in that Pokeball. Leveled up. Simple as that. As simple as that. Now I've got 10 of 30. Which, again, like I said, it's a progress, it's progression. Yeah. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. There we go. You can see the XP. The more you catch, the more it goes up. It's weird, it's bizarre, but it's awesome. It, it like entice you. You gotta do what you gotta do, ain't you? Boom! Mm. Oh, I thought I missed that dude then. By the way, as well, guys, with these, with your spheres, if you throw a miss or don't capture, you lose it. Simple as that. You lose it. Now there are chests around here which I'm gonna go and grab. And hopefully there's more spheres in them for me. Otherwise I gotta go back and craft more people. Craft more. I'm not even sure where I am. <laughs> and there's a waterfall somewhere down here. Oh there's a sphere what right there. There's actually yeah, the waterfall there. There's a there should be a chest down there. Isn't guaranteed. The gold chests don't seem to be guaranteed. Hey, you're a nice looking dude, but are you going to kick my ass? Is the only thing I threat? Are you going to kick my ass? You know what? We'll try you anyway. Don't kick. No. Did I capture him? Oh, that was so close. My cat Tiva almost killed him. Nice. Got plus 70 for that. What we like to see. What we like to see now. Is it down here? Where are all those chests? I can't remember. Hey, another sphere there. Cool. So just going to grab that, grab that, and grab that. This guy here, by the way, don't even bother with. Don't even bother with. On my main character, I've killed him. But I tried to fight him when I got to like a level. I think it was like a level 15, and he just one tapped me. Destroyed my pal, absolutely clapped my pal, ruined him. So, yep, just gonna grab these as well. How am I missing these? Don't you dare kill him! Is that guy, you know what? You can. I want, you to, I want the wool anyway. I want the wool anyway. I want that wool. Go and kill him. There we go. There we go. So as you can see guys, you level up pretty quickly doing this. Like I said, I am on normal settings. I haven't changed anything. Uh, and you can increase your, if you're playing in your own world, you can increase your own XP gains. That's completely up to you. There we go, we've got 73 for that dude. And we've got 75 for that dude. I'm just going to... Get this guy too. I've only got a couple of spheres left. I don't really want to kill him. Oh, you stupid bastard. Now you made me waste a sphere. I hate you, cat. That better be one down there. Yes, it is. That's what we like to see. But that's a green one. We don't want to be using that. I'm just going to activate this uh, fast travel because you get a point for it. Nice. There is a vendor. No, he's not actually. A, is he a vendor? The skilled island. I don't think he's a vendor. No, yet, but there's a chest over here which you do want to grab. It's also, guys, I'll show you the location of a neat... Oh, I got two spheres from that, so I'm just going to grab all this loot. Grab all these berries, because you never know. You're going to be hungry. Grab this too. Grab that too. Grab that too. And there's another effigy over there, which we will grab also. 
I'm just going to wait for my stamina to come back before I jump in this water. Come back to me. Little Pokemon. So it's telling me to capture two more of the um, Lambos. Now you, def you definitely, like I said, you definitely want to do all the tutorials that you can. There's no two which ways about that. You want to get them cleared 100%. Okay, so we're going to climb up here at the very top because right at the very top there is a, I think it's called, is it called a skill tree? I think it's up here. Oh shit, you don't want to do that though. In fact, I want to go up this way because my stamina ain't the best. I have I spent any points in stamina. I'm not sure that I have, to be honest. I'm not sure that I have. So I'm just going to jump up here and hopefully don't run out by the time I get to the top. Because otherwise I'm falling back down on my ass. Okay, so now we're just going to run up here, guys. You can see that right there. That is what's known as a skill tree. <laughs> Not the generic skill tree where you spend points. It's a skill tree where you pick abilities which you can apply to your powers. And they actually respawn on this. They respawn on this, which is cool. So after a certain while... These abilities will come back with different rotations. So you just want to keep that in mind too. I'm going to grab that while I'm here. Now I've tried to jump across there. You can't do You end up back down there in that water. Which we need to go back down that way anyway. I do believe also guys. There is a few bits of loot around this area. Like I said that full run route. I do with the loot chest and that. It covers all this small little area here. So there's plenty for you to do there. It's going to grab this and that sphere. I can see shining at the corner of my eye. Come to daddy. Just like so. Grab all these wood. Grab all that loot. Grab all that goodness. I've got an on point uh, thingy. I should have spent into stamina already. So I'm just going to probably now put one more in there and probably go with. In fact, I'll go one and attack here. I could actually, you know what? I forgot about my weight. Don't, we don't need attack at the minute. We definitely need weight. So that's what we're going to do. You can see here, guys, these are what I just picked up off that tree. Um, so I can apply these to certain pals. I don't want to waste them at the minute, though. I'm not going to lie. <gasps> Shit, I almost jumped straight down there then. That would have been instant death. I mean, full damage ain't on this game ain't that harsh. But let me tell you, it can be pretty harsh. I'm a main character where I've got a, a flying mount. <laughs> I accidentally jumped off in mid-air. I, I weren't as high as I thought I was. And I splattered. I absolutely splattered. So how many spheres have I got? I've got six. So yeah, we can go ahead. I'm actually just going to go and tame the Lambos, which is telling me to do. So can I just jump down here? Yes, I can. Whoop there we go. Just like so, I'm just going to go across here and come up this way. I can see right there, guys, things have already started to respawn. So that's what we like to see. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and tame these um, little dudes here too. Oh, because it's all XP, people. It's all XP and I semi-expect my bow to break pretty soon, I'm not going to lie. There we go. Oh, you come, you come out of it, you bat, you're dying. I'm not even going to waste another sphere on you. You're pain in the ass. Absolute pain in my ass. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back up to our base and get things underway here. And again, these terms in and around your level are perfect. In regards to that XP and especially ones that you haven't discovered yet. These are perfect too. Now please capture. Capture rate. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Nice. 78 XP for that one. Which is what we like to see. Now I could shall I? Shall I? No, nah, I'm just gonna leave you for now. I'm just gonna leave you for now. I'll go back up to our base, grab that egg while I'm here. And I'll give you guys a few more tips and tricks. In fact. Anything that's shiny and blue, you pick up 100%. You don't miss these things. You don't mess around with these things. You pick them all up. You pick them all up. There's actually a chest up there. Right on the edge, I do believe. Which you can go ahead and grab if you want to. Um, so it's telling me to capture the Lambos. The Lambos. 
In fact, I'm just going to get you while you're here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but I did. Oh, well. Oh, well. There's a Lambo. There's a little Lambo. I'm just going to capture you too. Ba -ba. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's what we like to see. So plus 75 there. So I'm just going to grab these. And grab that. Shoot that. There we go. And as for you, you're coming home to Papa. You confused the heck out of me then. I wonder what you're doing. Oh, are you taking a piss, you little pain in the ass? It's wasted a ball for that. Luckily, there's more here. There we go. So we've got that now, guys. And we are good. There we go. Captured 5, XP bonus of a plus 85, which is what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Okay, so now we go back to our base, track back, increase your... And that, it, just, it is telling me to capture 11 more, which I mean, if I ain't got the spheres on me, I'd have to go back and craft them, which is what I plan to do, but I need more arrows too. But you're getting the basics, guys, of how you should start this game and how you should play it out. Yeah, you definitely need those levels early on because again it's unlocking blueprints and it's just like a progression you craft to build things which will allow you to craft more things to build other things so yeah you can see my little dude is still working away right there look at all the stone he's got for me which i think i'll probably be too heavy at the minute to actually um pick up so i'm hungry at the minute i'm just gonna feed myself there we go you can see the amount of lambos i've got and these now you can see all the other terms I've got will be back in my power box. So I'm just going to put all these away. Don't need you. I'm actually going to bring you out with me because you're a little beast. Um, but yeah, again, now you'll see I'll upgrade my base. I've actually got a couple of upgrades. Now I can actually apply three of these dudes if I want to. Or I can apply something else. And I'll start, tell you what I mean now, guys, in regards to them all offering different things. Um, you can see this guy here is taking things to my um, my box, so he's gathering. But so what we'll see is if you come up to your power deck and say, for instance, you click on the Captiva. You can see right there where it says, um, right here, you can see where it says work suitability on the right hand side. You can see kindling, planting, handiwork, lumbering, medicine, production, transporting, watering, generating electricity, gathering, mining, cooling and farming. Uh, so what these mean are, you can see this Captiva has got the transporting, the handiwork, gathering and mining, all a part of what he can do. If we click on this dude, he just has gathering and farming. If we click on this dude, he has kindling. Um, you can only see the, the powers you've actually caught, by the way. And if you can't see, this dude's got planting. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. You have to capture them to see what they can do and offer. So what these mean is the kindling, basically... Uh, anything that requires fire, so for instance, a stove, a cooker, a fire pit, a torch. Um, once you craft these, and you'll see them right here, guys, for instance. So let's go down to, I think actually the fire pit's a little higher up here. It's hard to see. Okay, so yeah, say for this instance, the primitive furnace. So this here, guys, once you have this down, you collect ore, you put ore inside of it. You need, this needs to be powered this needs to be powered and it's powered by nothing other than those powers that offer that kindling work suitability so this one will be perfect for that now we have planting so in regards to you putting down let's say uh, a berry plantation i'll build this i'll put it down this will need to be watered it would also need to be basically seeded as well so powers that do this powers that offer that planting will do that the water you can see right there guys this would need to be watered but this also powers other things too handiwork are things like the the uh captiva so if you're crafting something uh, these will help you in regards to that crafting lumbering guys is someone who just a power who will collect wood for you which is perfect medicine production again creates medicines um now there will be certain things they need to farm to do this but they will create medicines for you which will 
get you out of some sticky situations you'll find yourself in. Transporting is another decent trait as well. So for instance, if I am farming rocks, I'm farming wood and I can't carry it, I'm over encumbered. If I drop half of it, uh, pals with this, this little attribute here will come and pick up said things I've dropped and I'll put them in the nearest container box, which is cool. Watering again, guys, like I said, is watering plants, uh, some water powered things as too, some like workstations require water to do certain things um we have gathering which is something that will collect berries so i a pal if there's bushes in the vicinity of your base these will run around collecting uh berries for you and i'll put them straight in the food trough normally their food bank normally i do believe mining is a pal which will go ahead and collect rocks for you mine stone for you and in doing so as you can see guys they non-stop do it and you also get plenty of stone but you also get those powdering fragments as well as over too. But you can see I'm over encumbered already. That's why weight is very important as something you put on. Like you see this dude here guys, he's just going backwards and forwards collecting all the uh, stone that this dude's uh, farming and putting them away for me which is cool. See all this is what they've done. I'm just going to put all this inside of here guys, I don't need this on me at the minute. Um, so yeah, and again, the great thing about this as well guys is if you work from your workbench You will select items straight out of your containers that are nearby too. You haven't got to have things on you, which is great um, So yeah, let's go back to that power deck So yeah, mining is uh, powers that will farm those stones for you Cooling is uh, a, a tribute that's tied to things like this right here um, Where are we? It's quite lower down to be honest. Actually, that's a bit too far down. It's a little higher up so, there. Okay, so a cool box a small food, a food vault So if you cook food on a fire, you can start it in here guys and this needs to be powered by said pal um, And farming guys is just a general trait of farming now what I will say is For these things to do this they need to be inside of your pal pals at the base now, the, the further you level up your base by doing the tutorials you can see on the screen now, build your base up to and until it reaches level 7. This is achieved by you crafting certain things, more beds, which I need to make for these pals, as they're going to get stressed without them. Um, other, there's many, many, many of things, guys, you'll build for your your base. Things like these structures here, the alarm bell and the hanging trap. Now, the alarm bell and hanging trap in this area here, guys, I wouldn't say is necessary if you got decent leveled pals just doing their own thing here farming for you uh, you will get raided but the enemies here normally are bound at level five so yeah as long as your pals are higher than that level which they all should be before you first start to get raided you should be good to go here uh, but so yeah I wouldn't worry about them in the early game now in regards to berry plantation uh, this right here um, we have the stone pit as well as the logging site the logging site probably unless you get a a power of a certain logging trait on it. Um, the stone pit isn't necessary because these little cativas will do <laughs> more mining from the stones in this area than any stone pit can do for you, so that's cool. And again, with trees being here, with bushes being here too, you don't really need the berry uh, plantation thing here. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. But when you move bases, these are going to be very, very important. And when you scale your base up, which you will do, eventually your base is going to be absolutely massive. You're going to be triple the size of this. Um, you will need factory lines where things are building all sorts for you, which we'll go into now. Um, I mean, like there's this thing here, the crusher. This is so as you can see there, powers with that watering's uh, suitability. You need to spin this water turbine. What this does is, guys, you'll put stone into this and it will create different things for you, which is pretty cool. Wood as well. We then have things like this hot spring. I made this. I don't even know why I made this. Most of my, my pals on my other uh, games to spend their time in this hot tub, pain in my ass. And nails are important too. These require ingots. So ingots will come from you putting... Um, where's that furnace gone? Like right here, so you you'll place oil in this furnace and it will produce ingots for you But again, you need that power to power that But then guys you get down into the later stages and things like this cold resistant armor Which is amazing by the way, but for areas in the game nowhere near this we have a breeding farm Which again assign a male and female power to produce eggs um, there's, there's so much things you can do, but it gets way way deeper. I mean way way deeper now let me see, let me see, let me see. 
it's things like this <laughs> production lines you need an electric little power to uh power this um you've got metal structure you got so much here guys um a weapon line factory where your weapons are created for you uh, these required materials you won't find early on though well, you'll find them here and there but they are quite scarce that high quality power oil is quite scarce but again there's so many things for you just 50 levels of things to unlock but i wouldn't worry about these straight on now what i will say is also guys as you can see there's many a question mark here uh what these are are these are things these are blueprints that you'll unlock upon you capturing a certain pal so for instance, I just caught this pal. Now if I unlock this guys, it allows me to build a harness for him so I can pick him up and use him as a flamethrower. There's things like uh, saddles for flyers. I think this one right here is a saddle for a flyer. There's saddles for gr ground tames, which again, they won't appear here for you to unlock until you tame them and capture them. We also guys have this right here, which is the ancient technology uh, section. The ancient technology section, um, like things like the egg incubator so you'll find many eggs which you can incubate and basically hatch your very own pals this requires ancient civilization parts now ancient civilization parts come from shining pals now shining pals are pretty rare to come by um so you'll see them they're like normal pals they're let off like a glint a glimmer uh they're like the shining pokemon of this game they're bigger they're tougher they hit harder um so yeah you need to keep oh shit i need to build beds where are my dudes where are my dudes on a short break she's 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 some of this craft bees uh but yeah let me just build that there craft that but yeah the shining powers will drop those ancient civilization parts we also guys have the world bosses which will also do them we have dungeon bosses which will also drop them uh but they are the rarest things in the game what you also need guys is to even unlock them you need the ancient civilization or the ancient technology points again these come from big bosses they come from bosses that are quite hard to take down so these things on the side here although they're few and far between um yeah like i said they are here for a very, a very good reason the best items in the game indeed they are now I didn't did I mention a food bag? I don't think I did. The food bag is one I actually don't feel you need. What this does is it allows you to put things in the food slots for like quick access, but they ain't that important. I mean obviously if you're in boss battles, they're quite important, but most of the early boss battles, guys, you can easily get cover, quickly go into your menu and feed yourself berries quite quickly, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, now the shield I haven't crafted yet. Very important. You should do that as well as that cloth armor early stages guys things get cold I need to make another bed because I've got Three little pals here. that need to sleep. So let's build that Because they need that rest pals without beds do get stressed. Yes, indeed. They do my beautiful people. Yes, indeed they do See how long it takes to actually do I could pull out my pen and help me but hey okay so you want to cut out have i made did i even unlock cloth did i unlock cloth i thought i did no i didn't so i need cloth for sure so cloth make this start the production now i'm just going to pull out my pal to help me out here just because it just takes a while otherwise as you can see i should probably build a fire pit here as well guys it gets pretty cold just get pretty cold now if you're watching my channel for the first time what i will say is uh, i have made a couple of guides for new players and well the one guide i've made i've basically covered everything here in this, uh, in this video uh, but the other guide is 40 plus things i wish i knew sooner um, which is it goes into way more details than what i can cover in this video because i go into a later stage of the game um but yes yeah, so i'm just gonna put these away don't want them weighing me down i've got my cloth there so now i'm just gonna craft this we want this for sure you're crafting it for me now i'll help you out there we go and you definitely want to apply this people 100 percent just like so so acquire that and then you want to craft that shield now i need a few more fiber for this so i'm just going to go and knock down a few trees 
give me that five. I can't remember. You know, my memory's so bad. I can't remember how much five I need. I legit can't remember. Let's just go with that. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Let's have a look. There we go. We got enough. So let's just build that. So now, as you can see, like I said, you want to from this point capture those pals, get 30. Again, with each one, it will increase that XP gains. So you will earn more XP the more you capture. So I've got that. I'm just going to apply these. So there we go. They're on already. And he gets another health bar, another shield bar, which is cool. What are you guys doing? Are you capturing? Oh, is it morning time yet? It must be morning time. Oh, it is. It's coming up to the daytime. Cool. So from here, guys, what I would do is as well, I'd build that uh, repair station. This is very important too. Where can, this ain't going to fit there. So I'm just going to put this about here, just like so. So when you break, eventually do break uh, your bow, your arm will break. This is where you bring it to fix it. And this all adds to that base, people, that base XP. So, yep, item management. So you, what you do is you just select the item. If you've got the materials to repair it, I haven't got enough fiber then just press your start button on it and it would repair it but this goes for every tool you have every bit of army you have including now your shield will when it drains it will replen by itself you ain't got to worry about that but in regards to your tools and your armor you do have to repair these so that's pretty cool now let's see what we've got here we have another upgrade which is cool so now guys i can add another pal to my workload um he just doesn't really do much because he just stick well actually you know what do i need a do i need a uh actually i don't there's nothing here we actually need no i'll just put out another a ship to help gather and carry those resources it's probably wise now to create and craft another storage box because again they get quick they get filled up pretty quickly i'm just gonna put you out of the way there just like so you can see there's multiple of them now come to help me craft things so the more you have the faster you level up pretty cool now i do need to craft more um i need more spheres i need more uh, arrows it means i need more wood so yeah that's what we're going to do guys but yes that's basically the, the basics to the game and what you want to do again um there are other things you can learn but the basics are the, the pals oh my life am i going to be overweight here the basics are the powers, what they offer in regards to work suitability, what they offer for your base, what you need them for. Building up your base, getting the, the lowdown, the basics of what you do. What do you mean powers without beds? I built him a bed, didn't I? Did I not build that dude a bed? Oh no, I ain't got the actual, <laughs> I ain't got the materials yet. But yeah, the lowdown is quite simple. Um, it's all about just learning what things offer, what things do. Uh, in regards to your pals and their work suitability and how they help you out in and around your base but don't get it twisted it's not all about that there are pals which you need for the open world fighting which are absolutely a must for sure people any food in there there's a bit i'm gonna put more in there we go i keep these two for myself but out in the open world you can have the mushroom i don't want that and these few things here i'll probably keep on me for the time being uh, so yes, what I'm going to do now guys is, in fact, what if I were you and you're watching me, what I'll do now guys is just progress your base, follow the tutorial, go out, level up, build up your base, explore. When you get to around a level 13 or 14, I'd probably come back to my channel and check out the best tames you can get real early on. Now there is a little Pikachu wannabe in the game called the Sparket, I think it is. I can't remember. It's actually quite close to here, um, but it would take me a and they so I should get up there to take it's around this area right there. Um, he's probably the best starter pal for battling. Um, it's between him and one that it's called a daydream that spawns on the night time. That's unbelievable, too. Those are probably my go to first two companion pals for battling out in the open world. Uh, but yeah. Again, come back to my channel once you're around the level 10, 12, 15. I'll showcase to you where you can get your first flying mount. It's saddle. And once you get to that point, guys, you're free to explore this massive open world. And when I mean massive people, it's absolutely massive. It is absolutely ludicrous. 
So there we have it guys. Now, I didn't want this video going on too long, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanted to bring you guys basically the ultimate guide for uh, starter players and what you should be doing first, 100%. And remember, check out that loot run because there's loads of chests, loads of eggs, and all that around here, which will also help you out in the initial stages of your play through. And yes, before I forget guys, I was talking about the Statue of Power earlier on in the video, which I must go on to talk about. Now you unlock it at a level 6, there you have it right there. What this does is guys, it allows you to spend those effigies and also those uh, power souls to level up yourself and level up uh, your power. So we're just going to go ahead and craft this dude. Uh, I'm just going to put him, I don't want him in the way of my little dude, so I'm just going to put him out of the way. So let's just put him... Now, where was you coming from in the rocks? Was you up there? I'm not even sure. Okay, so I'm just going to put you there. Just like so. Now, I'm just going to build you. Takes 30 odd seconds. Now, we're coming. Now, we're going to take no seconds, people, because everyone's jumping in on the action here. Everyone's jumping in on the action here. And there we have it. Okay, so from here, guys, you can see enhanced player stats, enhanced power. So, enhanced player stats, you spend those. Uh, lift monk effigies that you find them glowing green statues which are way more apparent at night by the way when it goes to night time i mean you go up to a high cliff you can see them all out in the open so what this does is enhances your capture power meaning when it comes to pack capturing those powers you have more of a chance in doing so which is cool now in regards to enhanced powers you spend those uh power souls which you find out and about you can get them from killing powers you can get them from uh all sorts. So these are the two guys I've got right here. Um, I don't know if I can. Yes, I can. But I don't really want to, if I'm honest with you. Actually, I'll do it for video sex purpose. There we go. Just spend one. I'll spend one on you. Two. Actually, no, what? I'll spend them both on you. I'm going to spend one there. There we go. Good to go. There we go. We've got one in the, uh, HP, one in attack. But yeah, there we have it, guys. This is the uh, Statue of Power. Uh, very important in regards to helping you on your progression so yes that's it guys actually I had to edit the video because i've almost forgot about that and i spoke about it earlier uh, but yeah i did truly forget now don't forget anything else ultra important that you need to know about in regards to uh helping you with your progression that you won't learn off the bat anyway the basics of what we have learned today so far in this video it just basically things just evolve upon them uh but yeah and there we have it guys and there we have it guys guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more power world be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one